Hello and welcome back. I have a question for you. How can we have a social media platform without bombarding our users with notifications? Answer, we can't. So let's implement notifications. All right, so I want to start by explaining something. So if we go to screens right here, you see when we like a screen or unlike, it's already like a bunch of requests to the database. Now, Notifications uh, don't have to arrive instantly, so we can handle them separately. And we can do so by taking advantage of something called database triggers. So if you go to Fire, Firestore documentation and you just scroll down to triggers, there's a bunch of different triggers on authentication, on real-time database, on, and on Firestore. We're interested in the Firestore one. So basically these are kind of like events that watch changes in certain documents. And then on those changes, it triggers an event and it does something. So you have on create, on update, on delete, and on write. All right, you can read the documentation page. I'm not gonna talk too much about the theory. Let's actually implement this. First thing is we need to have, we need to create a, a notification whenever someone likes a post. Okay, or a scream. It's not a post. What is a post? That's not a thing. <laughs> All right, so export dot create. I'm really trying to push the idea of like a scream is like kind of an ape screams and a, a bird tweets like Twitter and this would be different, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so create notification on like, and this would be equal to functions dot, and I'm gonna chain this region function. Maybe you don't have to, maybe you do. So check with your, depending on your case. So I'm gonna add the region Europe West two and I'm gonna chain here the namespace Firestore dot document. And the document we're interested in is in slash likes, slash, um, or is it slash? We could just do likes slash like this ID in curly braces. And here our event is the onCreate, so whenever a document is created. And this will have a handler that will take a snapshot and a context. For us, we don't need the context, we just need the snapshot, which is basically a snapshot of this like document that has just been created. So here, inside of here, let's do DB. Oh, we can't do DB because we haven't imported it yet. Let's import it, so const db equals require and if you remember this is in the util so dot slash on the same level slash util slash admin uh, okay like this and here we do db dot uh, document and backticks slash screams slash uh, we want to get the scream because we need some data from there so slash scream slash snapshot uh, dot data dot scream ID. Remember that this is the like document, so we have access to the scream ID. So dot get this returns a promise dot then, and this will hold a a document. So here we need to we need to add this check if doc dot exists. Now of course it's always going to exist in this case, but it's just good practice to add it. Stu return. Now inside of here we're going to create the notification. The reason why we fetched this. Uh, this scream um, because we need some data from it. So because we need the the owner of the scream, the handle of the owner of the scream. So let's do return db dot collection, or actually um, db dot doc, because uh, we know that it's going to be in the notification. So notifications. Make sure you don't misspell anything, because I sometimes do that. Guilty snapshot dot id now we're gonna give the id uh, the notification the same id as the like or the comment later on and i'll show you later why this is useful so we do dot set and inside of here we're gonna have a created at which is gonna be new date dot to iso string and we're gonna have, actually, let me uh, copy and paste this for you to use as a reference. So let's go to DB schema. 
and under comments here, I'm gonna paste this. So this is what a notification is gonna be like. It's gonna have a recipient, which is who's getting the notification, a sender who's sending it, a read of true or false by default. It's false because it hasn't been read when it's created, a scream ID of which scream this pertains to, a type, in our case, we only have likes and comments, so two types, and I created that. All right, let's go back to our index. So we have a recipient and it's gonna be the doc, uh, dot data of this because doc refers to the screen remember dot user handle and we have a sender and it's gonna be uh, the um, the snapshot dot data which is the like document dot user handle uh, we're gonna have a type in this case it's a like so type is like a red of false okay this is five things let's check if we have covered everything one two three five uh we're missing the scream id okay let's go back the scream id is the uh, snapshot or let's just do use the document we can use both so let's do doc.id which is the scream Cool, so this returns a promise that holds a, what does it hold? A, a right result, I think, but it doesn't matter. We're, gonna, we're not gonna need it. So we can just leave that empty and we could just say return. And here, let's do catch error. In case an error happens, we just, actually we don't need a block. We just need uh, to console error. Uh, actually we do, because we need to return. <laughs> All right, console dot error the error and return we don't need to send back any response because this is a database trigger and it's not a um, an API endpoint uh, let's create the next one so here we need to do create notification do the same name but we change on like to on comment and this will be functions dot region again let me copy this bit here uh, functions dot region uh, and the document will be in comments slash ID and we're gonna listen to on create as well and here we're gonna have a snap shot and uh, inside of here we're gonna get the scream again so it's kind of the same so let's copy all of this and here we get the document, we check if it exists and we create a, a notification with the snapshot ID, which is the comment document ID and created that the same recipient is the same, sender is the same, the type is comment. So let's change this to comment. The doc ID is the same, everything is the same. Cool. So. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna create all of them and then we're gonna test them. So let's save. And then underneath here, uh, we don't have the ability to delete comments, so we don't have to worry about that, but we have the ability to unlike a post. Actually, I'm gonna put it here. So we need to, because the thing is, we're gonna create notifications, but if someone unlikes the post, we wanna delete that notification. I don't want a user to have a notification for some that someone liked their post, and then after they unlike it, they still get the notification, and then they go there and they're like, what? No one liked it. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be called delete notification on unlike, like this. So it's gonna be a functions. Again, let me copy this bit. So functions the region, the document, and the event is gonna be on delete. And we're gonna have a snapshot. And what we need to do here is we just need to do db.doc and backtick slash, what is that? Okay, slash notifications slash snapshot.id, remember, because the, it has the same ID. The ID of the uh, like is the same as the ID of the notification that pertains to that like. So slash, slash snapshot slash ID dot delete. This returns, oops, this returns a promise that holds a right result that we're not gonna use. So we just leave the, 
the thing empty and we do return inside of here and then we do dot catch error console dot error the error and then return all right let's save and these are db triggers that we need to deploy for them to work let's save this and make sure you're in the functions folder and let's do firebase actually i think the command even works from the uh, root folder so I, just, I don't know why i always have to go into functions okay now that it's deployed let's go to our functions in on firebase uh, as you see we have our uh, db triggers let's go let's copy the endpoint and let's go here let's log in or let's actually create a new account because why not so sign up let's just test out just in case the functionality for adding the default no image picture and stuff like that confirm password uh, the same and the handle will be Jane. All right, we sent the post request to slash sign up. Oh, email is already in use. Um, let's just use like new to, and the handle is new to send. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's take this token and let me make sure that the ID is still correct. I didn't delete that screen. Okay, so we have one screen that starts with QED. Yeah, the, the ID is correct. Of course, this is a new account. That means we haven't liked it yet. So we'll change the endpoint to slash like. Oops, not here. And in the authentication, we do bearer and we paste the token and we send the request. All right, so like count incremented to two, we should see a notification collected, collection created and a notification created in a second. All right, so the notification has been created. Um, let's actually unlike that post or that screen and see if the notification is removed. And it is removed. All right, so let's post a comment and see if we get a notification. When we, we post a comment, let's change this to a post. And we have a raw body of type application JSON, and we're gonna have a body of the comment we'll say nice scream again let's post the comment all right we get nice scream we get our comment back to us and we should get a notification created here all right we do our get our notification and if we click on it it says type comment and it has the correct recipient and sender uh, the sender was new to the account we just created and the recipient was user which is the owner or like the person that posted this screen cool so everything works one other thing that i wanted to edit is in the users handlers file when we get authenticated user here we return the user and their likes we need to return their um their uh, notifications as well because we need to access them and show them on the front end so let's add that so here instead of returning user data we need to do return db dot collection notifications dot where recipient is request dot user dot handle and we order by the created at date in a descending order and we limit by 10. I wanna limit to just 10. You can not limit if you want and then we get them. So let me make sure I didn't misspell anything. All right, so here we change another then and this will have a data. So we'll do data dot, let's actually initialize 
user data dot notifications equals an empty array and here we do data dot for each document user data dot notifications dot push and uh, we actually need to the notification ID as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push all the fields one by one so let's do uh, what do we have let me put this on the side to just remember what we have so we have recipient is uh, doc dot data dot recipient and let's copy this and paste it like one two three okay five more times so we have sender we have created at we have the scream id the type and the red and we also need the id so let's say notification id is doc.id and so after this after the for each uh, loop we just do res or return res.json user data and uh, let's test this out uh, let's log in as user because user right now is the only user that's got uh, any notifications so let's change that to login and let's delete these two keys and change this to user at email.com so we get our token let's send a get request at slash api slash user actually uh, we need to either deploy or um, or serve i'm gonna serve right now all right uh, if you've served make sure you're on local host and not the deployed one and uh, let's send the request and error nine. Oh, it's because we need to create an index so let's copy this url because it's um it's like a complex um query and we need to create an index for it create index this will take a couple of minutes so i'll be back once it's done all right so our our index is now created so if we send this request again and there we go we get our credentials and we get our notifications as well and if we had any likes we would get them here but we don't uh cool so this is working all right there is two more routes that i want to create for users before we finish off this video uh, let me close this uh, let's go to index.js and create two routes here for users one would be the route where we use to get a, a user's details like another user's details or even our user so this is let's say app.get and it's at slash user or let's say yeah slash user slash uh, colon handle so this is uh, we pass the handle and the application gives us back the details of this user and this is a public route so and we're going to call this function get user details and one other one is app dot post at slash uh, notifications and these names don't matter by the way these are not front end routes these are not what the user sees these are just uh, what we send as requests uh, for our backend so slash notifications and we'll call this mark notifications red let me make sure that I spelled that correctly yes okay and this is of course protected all right let's add these two and we will create them in a second so here in users we have get user details and mark notifications red all right let's save and let's go to users and create them um, I'm gonna put the get user one here so let's call this get another or any user or any user users details this will be exports dot get user details it's gonna take a request and a response and 
let's initialize a say user data equals an empty object and here we do db dot doc and backticks slash users slash uh, dollar sign curly braces to put a variable request dot params dot um, handle yeah we called it handle and here we do dot get so we get this user dot then we get a document and here we add the credentials but of course let's first check if the user exists so doc dot exists and here we do user data dot user equals do we need to initialize this uh no i don't think so so user dot uh, doc dot data so this is our user data and then here we do return now we want to get their screams so return remember this is the users page we need to see their screams so return db dot collection screams and where user is it user user handle not id user handle equals so we have this in our request params so request dot params dot handle and uh, we need to sort these as well so order or order order by created at descending we might have to create an index for this so uh, get so we're going to return it so in the next then block we're going to have data and here we initialize user data dot screams as an empty uh, array and here we do data dot for each and we get a document here for each document we need to do user data dot screams now here we could just push the data but we need the id as well so we need to do the screams dot push and we create a new object so we need the body of the screen doc.data.body and let's copy this and uh, so we have a created that a user handle a user image a like uh, account and a comment count and here we have scream id equals doc.id so what did we say created at uh, don't forget to click control d user handle user image um, like count and comment count all right so uh, i think this is it. yeah this is it we just need their screams all right so after the for each we need to do return response.json user data and here after the dot then we do dot catch error console dot error the error and return res dot status 500 dot json error error dot code all right so this this is sorted and I'm gonna serve just to start creating the oh I was already serving what am I doing <laughs> right, I'm gonna serve and test this just for it to prompt me to create the index and then let it index let it let it create and then we're gonna create the mark notifications red route what's happening uh, right the post requires a callback function but got an object undefined oh because we're not we haven't created this function yet let's just comment this out and try again oh of course let me remove it as well from here because there is no export for that Uh, actually we're not handling if the user if the document doesn't exist so let's do an else here so if if the document actually doesn't exist we need to return a response return response.json or dot status first of 404 dot json error 
user not found. Let's uh, save and it's gonna serve again. And here let's do a get request without any authorization header at slash API slash user and we get, let's say Jane. Do we have Jane? User not found. Actually, I didn't delete the account itself. I just deleted the entry in users table. We have Johnny, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's gonna give us the error for the index, I think. Okay, I misspelled something. Status here. But why would it get here? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. So let's copy this and create the index. Okay, while this index is being created, let's create the other mark notifications red uh, function. So exports dot mark notifications red. Now the way this is gonna work is that when you open a one second when you open a drop down that has a couple of notifications that are not read, we we are gonna send to our server a an array of IDs of those notifications that the user has just seen. So we can mark them red so they're not uh, marked as unread on the client side anymore. So we're, here we're gonna need to, need to do something new called a batch write, which is in Firebase when you need to write uh, or update multiple um, documents. So let's do let's, let batch equals db dot batch like this as a function. And let's do request dot body. And here we're gonna have a property called, uh, but actually we're gonna have an array as the body. So let's do for each. So our body is an array and for each notification. And here it doesn't matter, we can call it anything, but let's call it notification. Const notification equals db dot doc and where slash notifications and uh, remember this is backtick so I can use this variable notification um, yeah notification this one but this is an array of IDs but let's so let's change this name to notification ID here notification ID so it makes more sense so now we have this document we need to do batch dot update and this I did I misspelled that update and this is gonna take a document reference which is the notification that we just created there and what we want to update so the key is red and we want to make it true because the user had, has just read this so once the for each is done we can do batch dot commit oops dot commit which returns a promise and we do dot then doesn't hold anything I think and we just uh, return response dot JSON JSON and we're just gonna have a message we'll say notifications marked red alright and we catch Uh, do we need to re return a response? Yes. Okay. So let's say console dot error the error. Okay. So this is done mark notifications red and let's bring it back here so mark notifications red and let's uncomment this route and what we need to do now let's okay so the index has been created so we can send this request to get the data of Johnny and we should be able to see the data of Johnny here and we do cool so we get users and we get the screams he doesn't have any screams user has a scream we should see here cool user has a scream 
All right, so let's try to get, um, so user has uh, some notifications, right? If we go to our database, no, no, authentication database. So in notifications, uh, user has one notification. Let's actually add another notification for user somehow. How do we do that? Uh, let's log in as John or Johnny. Let's get Johnny's handle. Oh, but, uh, oh, let's comment actually. So we can comment on John, uh, as Johnny, we can comment on users scream. So here we'll say nice scream from Johnny. And we send this post request. Yeah, nice scream from Johnny. And we go here, find that there is a comment. Actually, there's multiple comments on the same post, on the same screen, but we don't have, okay, now we have two notifications. So let's take these IDs. This is why we needed to send back the ID of the notification, because we need to use it when we wanna mark it as, as red. So our body is gonna be of type JSON. It's gonna have an array of strings. So the first string is gonna be this ID. And then the second string is going to be this ID. And um, remember that they are false. They have false for red. They're not red yet. So this is the second ID. And we need to send this request at slash API slash notifications. There's a post request. And we need actually Johnny's token. Actually, we need user's token. Oh. All right, we send this actually a slash API slash notifications. Did I make a mistake? Okay, I misspelled notifications. Let's send this request. We get notifications marked red. And if we look at our database, they have true for red. Cool. So we're done with users routes. In the next video, we're gonna actually finish the backend by adding a uh, functionality for deleting a user's post, uh, sorry, deleting comments and likes of a post that has been deleted and one other DB trigger that I can't remember right now. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.